Hello Watch, my name is Pranav Mistri and I'm the founder and CEO of Neon. Neon, the first artificial human, the human that have emotions, that look and behave like us, but we are virtual. I come, up, I come from a very small town in India where I grew up with farmers who, who had a hard time interacting with internet and technologies and phones. I always dream that can we make technology so that anyone can talk to the technology in, in a very natural way. I was in MIT, I, was, I work on a sixth sense, the gesture interfaces, augmented reality, virtual reality, with one goal, that let's make technology, our interface with the technology, more like human. And, and today, um, I'm so excited that I'm working on something so close to that vision, so close to that dream, and I know that this dream is not going to be true tomorrow or day after tomorrow, it will take years, but that, that process is giving me the enjoyment of working on that process, building the future myself rather than someone building future for me. As I was talking in my talk that there is two ways to live in that future. One, you wait for the future until someone builds it. And the second way is that you become that someone. I dream to become that someone. And that's what uh, I'm happy about. It happened, it happened in a small, uh, I would not say it's not a car garage, it's a workshop kind of place. I'm a carpenter, uh, my, my name mystery means carpenter and I like to build things by, with my hand and so it's a, it's a machine tool lab that uh, we were working on and that's why it happened. For last two years um, this idea was in the mind that can, can machines become more like human to us? One day uh, me and my friend were doing some experiments, some algorithm, some computer software programming and we realized that there is there's some interesting outcome coming out of that one. We keep, after that outcome gave us more motivation to continue building on that, uh, that, that particular algorithms, uh, perfecting. Almost six months before, one day, that algorithm gave us a result that it now automatically could generate emotions that my friend or our algorithm, we never programmed that. That was an aha moment for us. We said that we are onto something. Let's show this core science to the world. We know that this is not a perfect product yet or no perfect technology. This is not a beta also. This is the preview of a science that we want to give. The result is amazing because we believe in the dream over here. We, we really like the, uh, uh, the idea behind this thing. So uh, I don't think that's a miracle or not, but we want the world to participate with us in this process. This is a new journey and the journey is just started. So we want to work with everyone to make uh, this technology better and better. A technological platform that we built from scratch, uh, which is about core R3 stands for reality, real time and responsive, which brings this real life feeling of 100% uh, of reality. It also real time, uh, with just a delay of a few, mi few milliseconds, um, to be precise around right now 20 milliseconds. And, and the system is responsive, so it can understand back and forth the questions uh, or it can understand the sensing uh, project. We believe that the uh, technology is, is making so much fast progress. There are so many machines that are working around us to make us happy, There's so many interfaces around that. But still, those machines feel like machine. They don't feel like that I'm talking to, there are speech interfaces, there are AI assistants, they doesn't, still doesn't feel like that I'm talking to a real person. So I really believe that our interface between us, human and machine, need to be more human. Let machine learn about us rather than we learning about machines. And that is what the goal that we are trying to achieve over here, that can, can we stay more human and can machine also become like us so that we can have a wonderful wonderful benefits of the technology given, uh, given to us. I, I'm a big fan of science fiction movies and um, uh, not only movies but a lot of literatures, uh, Isaac Asimov books and a lot of things. Um, to be particular, um, I, love, I love movies which, which uh, opens up my imagination to the next level. Movies like uh, Blade Runners, movies like uh, Her, movies, movies that, uh, that tell us that there, is, there can be a possibility for living in a world where technology is a partner with us and technology all around us, not just um, 
not without any privacy or security issues, but that those technologies are living with us to make the humankind more better. Um, that's what I dream for. West world, the positive part of the West world is wonderful because it, it gives us the, it opens up the imagination of the human that there is possibility. There is a human urge always being that they always imagine, as the kids we used to imagine about cartoon characters coming in our world. Um, West world is giving us that, uh, that imagination that there is a possibility that we can have someone who is looking real like us, uh, but who are not real. Uh, so Neon is the first venture of Star Labs. Star Labs is a future factory backed by Samsung. At Star Labs, we have been given a full authority to design and build a future that is better for the whole world. It is not about uh, what is the next big business or how can we make money out of it. And that is why we want to partner with not only a Samsung, but in the future academic communities, the, the governments, the science communities, other industries, other market players, competitors and collaborators to work together. And that is why um, we can build something that is not an industry, not a real product, not an academic science work, but we can bring the right technology to the world together. NEONS will integrate in our world as our friends, our collaborators. We, I don't think that NEONS are coming to your homes uh, or people's home or any businesses in next year or next year after. This is just the beginning, a spark. It will take uh, several years of the more research, more perfecting those technologies to bring NEON to the level where we can see them in real world. And we are so happy that we have a lot of excitement already in CES. So many businesses are coming to us from healthcare industry, from education industry, from industries like entertainment and media industry. They all want to work together to pilot or test these systems or these interfaces in their world. So what we are going to do is that next two, three years, we are going to continue building, perfecting this technology. And then we will see how we can bring them to the real world.